to 160 Applebee's and IHOP locations are closing this fiscal year right now. After two Applebee's locations suddenly closed. Ordered the Steak and Shake on Town Boulevard shut down for two weeks because Lobster and Chubbuck is closing due down due to a leasing disagreement with their landlord. Discover the surprising future of fast food. Join us as we unveil the top 10 fast food chains set to close their locations, revealing the industry's shifting landscape. From iconic brands to unexpected closures, get ready to witness the changing tides in fast food. Even before the pandemic, fast food and traditional restaurants were already considering digital advancements and making changes to their aging dining rooms. However, the need for adaption became urgent when the pandemic hit and forced closures. Nearly three years into the COVID pandemic, there has been a six 16% decrease in the number of people dining in restaurants. While the dining room has experienced some recovery, many restaurants are transforming to meet the demand for drive through service, which remains 13% higher than pre-pandemic levels and represents 39% of overall restaurant traffic. Moreover, to accommodate the growing need for drive through lanes and curbside pickups, fast food chains are reimagining the traditional restaurant concept and introducing new design prototypes. One notable change is the shrinking size of the dining room in modern fast food establishments, as more space is allocated to facilitate drive through operations. Several major chains are at the forefront of a shift towards off-premises dining by revealing their forthcoming restaurant designs, which often involve downsizing or eliminating dining rooms. Here are some notable chains spearheading this trend. In the United States, the restaurant industry is characterized by a mix of success stories and struggles, with many establishments failing to thrive and ultimately shutting down. This fact is evident when examining the data. In 2019, there were 703,000 restaurants across the country. However, the reports from Technomic, a food service industry research company, indicated that by the end of this year, the number of restaurants will have decreased to less than 630,000. Various factors have contributed to the closure of restaurants in recent years. Rising costs of food, labor, and other essential commodities have placed significant financial burdens on restaurant owners. Additionally, the COVID-19 pandemic has further exacerbated the challenges, with declining customer traffic that continues to impact certain chains. These financial pressures have affected small and independent eateries and well-known and established restaurant brands. Even popular names such as Red Lobster, TGI Fridays and Applebee's have faced difficulties and have not been immune to the industry's challenges. Let's begin with Steak and Shake, a beloved burger chain primarily located in the Midwest, which has been gradually shrinking for several years and this trend will continue in 2023. The chain has faced challenges in recent times, including complaints about its service and quality, and it narrowly avoided bankruptcy in 2021. According to a recent report by Big Larry Holdings, the parent company of Steak and Shake. The number of restaurants has decreased significantly. As of March 31, 2023, there were 493 Steak and Shake locations, which is a decline of 41 units compared to the 534 restaurants on March 31, 2022. This decline becomes even more pronounced when looking further back. In 2018, Steak and Shake had 626 locations, meaning that the chain has lost more than 130 restaurants in less than five years. Despite facing ongoing closures, the company successfully achieved profitability in 2022 and remains steadfast in its pursuit of becoming the leading brand in the industry. Big Larry Holdings CEO Sadar Big Larry expressed this determination in a shareholder letter dated February 2023, stating, Our objective is to establish ourselves as the most efficient and customer-centric restaurant company in the entire industry. One of the most significant instances of this compilation involves a prominent Hardee's franchise operator that filed for bankruptcy after shutting down an astonishing 39 restaurants. According to Restaurant Business Magazine, the franchise franchisee Summit Restaurant Holdings previously managed 145 establishments across the South, Midwest and West, but its current number of units has dwindled to 108. The initial indication of Summit's difficulties emerged in late April when regional news sources started covering a series of recent closures of Hardy's locations in the South and Midwest. Some of these shuttered restaurants were reportedly under the management of the now bankrupt franchisee. According to Restaurant Business Magazine, court documents revealed that Summit experienced a decrease in customer Customer traffic due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Additionally, the company faced challenges posed by higher food and labor costs, a widespread issue in the restaurant industry. Fortunately, the remaining restaurants owned by Summit have a more optimistic outlook than those that had to close down. CKE Holdings, the parent company of Hardy's, expressed their expectation that a suitable buyer will acquire these locations. In the meantime, these restaurants will remain open and serve customers. Moving forward in this list is Red Lobster, which has been serving fresh lobster, cheddar bay biscuits, and unlimited shrimp platters 
service to customers nationwide since it opened in 1968. Despite its reputation for providing affordable seafood, the restaurant chain has faced significant challenges in recent years, leading to the closure of several previously successful locations. The number of Red Lobster restaurants worldwide has been steadily decreasing. In 2021, the chain lost five units, followed by eight closures between 2022 and 2023. While these closures represent only 1% of Red Lobster's extensive presence, there is a possibility that the trend may continue throughout 2023. The Thai Union Group, the owner of Red Lobster, insists that these closures are in the best interest of the entire chain and reassures that they do not signify the beginning of the end for the company. A spokesperson for Red Lobster explained that the regular assessment of restaurant portfolios is a standard part of their business operations. After careful consideration, they have determined that these locations are no longer viable for Red Lobster. Red Lobster, a popular seafood chain serving fresh lobster, Cheddar Bay biscuits and endless shrimp platters, since its establishment in 1968, has faced significant challenges in recent years, leading to the closure of several once thriving locations. Despite its reputation for providing affordable seafood to a wide range of customers, Red Lobster has experienced a decline in its restaurant count. In 2021 alone, the chain lost five units, and from 2022 to 2023, eight additional locations were closed down. While these closures account for only a small percent of Red Lobster's overall number of restaurants, there is a possibility that this trend may continue in 2023. The union group, the owner of Red Lobster, has emphasized that these closures were made in the best interest of the entire chain and reassured that they do not signify the beginning of the end for the company. In a statement to Restaurant Business Online, a spokesperson for Red Lobster explained that the company regularly reviews its restaurant portfolios as part of the normal business operations. Consequently, it has been determined that these specific locations are no longer viable for the continued success of Red Lobster. Then we have Applebee that has faced challenges in recent years despite their efforts to attract customers with late-night half-price appetizers and creative cocktails. The restaurant chain has been forced to close multiple locations in the United States due to financial losses. The downturn began in 2017 and although Applebee's has hoped for a turnaround in 2023, their plans have not been successful enough. In 2022, they closed nine stores while opening four new ones, but the situation has worsened. By the end of this year, Applebee's is projected to have 10 to 20 fewer restaurants in the US. The decline in profits and the failure of expansion initiatives have prompted the parent company, Dine Brands, to anticipate these closures. During an earnings call, Tony Morello, the president of Applebee's, acknowledged that the current situation is not ideal and falls short of their future goals. However, he intends to collaborate closely with franchisees to identify new development opportunities financially appealing for the entire Applebee system. Despite investing in $400 million in the Reclaim the Flame initiative to revitalize the brand, Burger King has encountered setbacks as a few franchisees have failed. In April 2023, EYM King, a franchisee, had to shut down 26 restaurant locations in Michigan due to a lawsuit from Burger King, allegedly non-payment of required royalties, ad fund payments and other fees as reported by Restaurant Business Magazine. In March, another Burger King franchisee, Meridian Restaurants Unlimited, filed for bankruptcy and disclosed plans to close 27 Burger King locations across several states, including Minnesota, Utah, Montana, Kansas, Nebraska, and North Dakota. TGI Fridays, originally established in the 1960s, experienced many restaurants shutting down during the pandemic, accounting for 20% of its total. Further closures are expected in 2023. The sit-down chain, known for its every hour is happy hour concept, currently operates only 289 establishments, as several units were closed in 2022. Despite achieving record sales in 2022 and forming an exciting partnership with McDonald's, Krispy Kreme intends to close 14 locations in 2023. These closures are primarily aimed at pruning underperforming stores rather than indicating widespread problems within the company. During 2022, the chain also experienced a net loss of 10 units due to these restaurants failing to generate profitable returns and attract sufficient customer traffic. However, the closures appear to have the desired effect as the chain's net revenue reached $1.52 billion by the end of the year. Krispy Kreme has focused on prioritizing quality over quantity and remains confident in its current business model. In a 2022 earnings call, Krispy Kreme's president and CEO, Mike Tattersfield, strongly believed in the company's long-term objective of surpassing 50,000 global access points. Similarly, Quiznos, known for its toasted subs, filed for bankruptcy in 2014 and experienced significant closures. Boston Market, specializing in rotisserie chicken and home-style meals, also closed several locations 
locations due to financial difficulties. Johnny Rockets, a retro-themed burger chain, has faced closures as the restaurant industry encountered challenges and changed consumer preferences. It is essential to recognize that the specific reasons for closures may vary widely among fast food chains, as various factors including individual company strategies, market conditions and consumer behavior influence them. These closures are a sign of the challenges facing the fast food industry. However, it is important to note that not all fast food chains are closing locations. Some chains, such as McDonald's and Chipotle, are opening new locations. It suggests that the fast food industry is still viable but changing. And there you have it folks, the fast food industry is constantly evolving and unfortunately that means some beloved chains will be bidding farewell to certain locations. Change is inevitable but we'll always have the memories of those late night 